From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empey Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empey. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Impey Presents. I believe you're going to agree with me. I have some of the most shocking headlines that I have ever seen and I trust that uh, you will also absorb them with us and Jack's going to explain exactly what they mean. Did Messiah just arrive in Toronto, Ontario? Can you believe that one? Now, I'm sure that you have heard of the number 666, according to the Bible, and exactly what it does mean. Well, it is the number of the Antichrist. Take a look, if you will, please. This is from the National Post. The time is finished. We did just sec erects billboards in Toronto ahead of the transformation. Now, this is Jose de uh, Louis de Jesus. Now, Jack, he says he's Jesus. All is Christ. Going on here to something else, and this is three uh, of the billboards. 666, see that one? Another one. Countdown to the transformation, and there is no sin. Well, you know, seeing the 666, I'm not too surprised that he says that. Now, it does surprise me that people believe that he really is the Christ. But I'm going to ask Jack, how will we really know the true Christ when he arrives, Jack? Well, Jesus explained that in Matthew chapter 24, verses 5, 11, and 24, when he said, There shall be false Christ and false prophets, and believe me, they're here. Jesus also said in Matthew 24, 23, when they say, Behold, he is here, behold, he's there. Don't believe it. Why? Because there are certain signs that will happen when I come. Matthew 24, 27, As the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Boy, there were no lightning bolts when you arrived. You said the angels verified it to you. They must have been the fallen angels of Revelation 12, 7, because you don't fit the bill, uh, Mr. Jose Louis de Jesus. You are a fake. Now, let's go on more. When he comes, every eye shall see him, Revelation 1, 7. Hey, there aren't many that got to see you. And when he arrives, his feet stand on the Mount of Olives in front of Jerusalem, Zechariah 14, 4. As he sets up his kingdom in Jerusalem, Luke 1, 32 and 33. Get your signboards out of Toronto and move them to Israel where they belong. You're the, not the real one, Mike. Jesus who's coming soon to Jerusalem is the real one. All right, so good there, Jack. The Bible makes it very, very clear. I'm going to just ask three very quick uh, things here. That bottom sign said, there is no sin. Can you believe that one, Jack? Every no sin. Every false cult teaches that baloney, and you're going to hear it more today with the New Age movement and the rest. Some of our preachers right now who are alive. What blasphemy. 613 times this book mentions sin, and God wrote this book, 2 Timothy 3.16. First of all, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. The scripture had concluded all under sin, Galatians 3.22. And what happens when you sin? The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That's Ezekiel 18.4. You can't get away with your sin. Lust, when it's conceived, brings forth sin, and sin, when it's conceived, brings forth death. James 1, 15. Oh, we got our precious Jesus, the real one. And Christ died for our sin, 1 Corinthians 15, 3. 1 Peter 2, 24, for his own self bear our sin in his own body on the tree. And how did he do it? Through the shedding of his precious blood, for it's the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanseth from all sin, 1 John 1, 7. Then see you hanging on a cross, Louis. Everybody is a sinner. Yes. Everybody needs the Lord. And then that, uh, that little one there, countdown to the transformation. What in the world did he mean by that, Jack? Well, the transformation is what we real Christians call the rapture. Come up hither, Revelation 4.1, and we sweep through the heavenlies in the twinkle of an eye. And that's 1 Corinthians 15, 52. But he's got it all twisted around. Right. He's not going to be included. And I'll show you why in a moment. But Jesus is coming soon. But his 
date is June 30th, again, a preacher for the end of the world. Bunk! The world's never going to end. It's a world without an end. Isaiah 45, 17 and Ephesians 3, 21. All right, and then that last one, I can't believe it. 666. We know what that means. That's the Antichrist. Yeah, and he says it's something positive. Wow! Now, let me really tell you the danger of this cult and of this the Jesus, whatever his name is. Listen to me carefully. First of all, the Antichrist arises in Revelation 13, 1. And he has control over all kindreds, tongues, people, and nations, verse 7. And all the world worships him, verse 8. Because he is a false prophet who is promoting the worship of him. And this false prophet is also the one who's behind the 666 number. It isn't a good thing. It's a demonic thing. And listen to all those who receive it. In Revelation 16, verse 2. Get this. God pours out his bowl of wrath on the world, and those who have the 666 number are covered with noiseless and grievous sores. In Revelation 20, verse 4, it says, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witnesses of Jesus and for the word of God. Why were they beheaded as genuine Christians? Because they refused the mark of the beast, 666. And you're telling them to take it? A lot of these people with you will be cast into hell with the false Christ and the false prophet. And that is uh, Revelation 19:20. Oh, you know, Jack, I'm so sad about that. Remember right up front, I said that many people there in Ontario accept him as their Messiah, as their Jesus. Well, I want you to read something with me here that comes out of St. Catherine's, Ontario. Doris Rosanna watches her teenage daughters, Nanette and Kiara Mongot, get the number 666 tattooed on their wrists, beaming with pride. The number typically conjures a biblical symbolism tied to the Antichrist. But this St. Catherine's Ontario family belongs to an obscure Christian sect. I don't like it that they say Christian. It's not Christian. Christian sect for which 666 is a positive symbol of their group's messianic leader. I've already and shown them how false that is. These people are going to suffer for taking that yes, number. Yes, and there's her daughter getting 666 tattooed. And there you see it on her wrist, 666. The Six. mark of the Antichrist. Oh, Jack, it is so sad that we've come to such a day and age. The one thing, the reason that we are right there with you today is so that you can know how wonderful it is to know Christ as your Savior, the Savior of the world. We all are sinners. We all need the Savior. Will you open your heart to the Savior today as Jack prays that prayer? Oh, Jack, I'm proud to us. say that in 65 years of ministry, I've given the invitation 17,000 times and two and a half million have come to Jesus. Will you do it right now? Jesus loves you. He suffered on that cross for you. He shed his blood. It wasn't useless. It was that which can save you forever and forever and forever. So pray it, Lord Jesus, thank you for the cross. Thank you for your shed blood. Thank you so for saying I can be with you. Lord Jesus, I am doing what you've asked me to do. And that's saying, come into my heart, Jesus. Save me now. In your holy name I pray it. Amen. Amen. This is why Jesus came to be our Savior. I know some of you are on alcohol, some on drugs, some promiscuous sex perhaps. But when Christ comes in, he cleanses us of everything and anything. He's the Savior. Did you open your heart? Write to me. I'll send you this wonderful little book of First Steps in a New Direction. There's my address. Oh, pray the prayer if you didn't. Our Offer of the Week, Showdown with Iran, talking about everything in here that we've been explaining and elaborating on it. And here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Bob? To order your copy of the Showdown with Iran book with a bonus DVD, The Mideast Crisis, Can Israel Survive? Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. 
To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Van Impey Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Van Impey Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, N9A, 6Y1. Oh, thank you, Bob. I do want you to have this in your home. It's so very important because, you know, the threat of war with Iran is growing every single day, and you need to know all the details. It's very, very thorough. You need to have this book. And I got a bonus for you. We're going to be talking about Israel also, as well as uh, the Mideast crisis. Oh, please, make the call or write to us, Showdown with Iran, and my bonus can Israel survive? Friends, I want to leave you with a very, very good thought. Godly living means no regrets about yesterday, no embarrassment about today, and no apologies for tomorrow. We look forward to being in your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. And so do we so very, very much. 